We're living through the fourth agricultural revolution and how we produce, distribute and consume food will completely change in the next 10 years. So there's huge opportunities for anyone who wants to work in it, who's got a passion for it. The agricultural sector from farm to fork has a bigger economic impact than the aerospace and automotive sectors put together. Agritech involves everything from the technology at one end, growing it, extracting it, using it. It's not just growing stuff, it's using drones, the internet of things, sensors, the capture of data and acting on that data as well. Insect farming is a really exciting growing industry at the moment and it involves the production of a whole range of incredibly efficient invertebrates, black soldier fly larvae, mealworms and crickets. To make one kilo of insect protein from black soldier fly, you're looking at using 1.5 kilos of feed, which is incredible. To give you a little bit of comparison here, to make one kilogram of beef, you're looking at about 10 kilograms of feed. So just in terms of efficiency, insect protein is really the way to go. There's a whole range of different industries that are investing in this, which makes it so important that we make sure here in the UK that our farmers get the support that they need in order to compete in this really exciting field. And that's what we're hoping to do at Rittle, to kind of provide some of this support and research to kind of support this. Currently, 12% of land is used for food production and with our population set to increase to 10 billion by 2050, we need to find new innovative ways to produce food in these urban areas in order to reduce the pressure on our natural environment. On campus, we have two growing units that are manufactured by iGrowing, a UK-based company. And within these units, we have several different technologies which we use to manage our resources more sustainably. Vertical farming is essentially a vertical way of producing food indoors with controlled mechanisms to produce a precise and high yielding crop. The key benefits of vertical farming is the reduced footprint on our natural water systems, reduction in pesticide use, and a reduction in fertilizer use in order to produce the same yields. Vertical farming is an interesting sector to get involved with because it provides a multifaceted opportunity to get into research, to get into technology and plant science. It's a great time to get into agritech because it's still quite young. It is growing at an incredible rate. There's huge opportunities and if you're passionate about the environment and making a change, this could be the ideal career for you. Currently, the methods we work on those farms is not working very well. Because we've got intensive farming, we're doing lots of ploughing, lots of herbicide, lots of insecticide, the soil is degrading. So what this means is soil is going to be washed away you know, research is showing that fertility of Essex soils is going to go down majorly in the next 20 years. What are we going to do about that? Well, we're looking back at old methods um, that have been used for centuries. So, for instance, crop rotation, organic farming, low tillage systems. You don't keep turning the soil over, you direct drill into the soil. Only fertilizers coming from organic uh, sources like, you know, cows, pigs, uh, sheep, etc. So all of those methods, we're relearning them so we can actually feed ourselves, we can stop flooding and we can stop our soils blown away. So let's learn from our predecessors. And in doing that, the whole landscape of Essex is resilient to climate change.